हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम today i am going to talk about how we can remotely find windows 10 or windows 11 upgrade blocking factors using powershell now first let's talk about some of the key points so we know that when we are upgrading windows operating system using .esd file or using iso file upgrade process itself checking the compatibility of application drivers features and hardware and store this information in compact data.xml file inside the dollar windows pt folder the compatibility data.xml files are typically created and used when an application is run in compatibility mode on a newer version of windows and they are stored in the dollar windows pt folder as part of the backup mechanism during an operating system upgrade so by reading compatibility.xml file we can easily identify operating system upgrade blocking factors and these files are not created when we are upgrading operating system using windows enablement package so the location of this compact data.xml file is under c drive we have a folder called windows bt folder which is a hidden folder and within that we have to go to the source and under that we have to go to the panther and then we have multiple compact data.xml file and by reading this compact data.xml file we can easily identify which application or which driver is causing upgrade to fail so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos now let's see what all information we are getting when we are reading these files by opening in either microsoft edge or in any xml reading application so as you can see that by reading these files we can easily find that the particular application like in this case tren micro office scan enterprise kb4464619 is causing upgrade to fail and in action item we can see that it's stating that we have to manually uninstall this application for the successful upgrade of operating system similarly we can find the driver package name which is blocking the migration like here in this case we can easily see that the oem116.inf file is blocking migration which is equal to true and we have to check what is oem116.inf file and we have to fix this information and the location of this oem116.inf file is under c drive windows and then we have a inf folder and within that inf folder we can see that we have a oem116.inf file and by opening this oem116.inf file in notepad we can easily find the name of the driver which is blocking the migration of operating system now apart from application and driver blocking upgrade we have some other generic factors like here we can see that we have a compatibility information blocking type and it's saying that the your pc is not supported yet on this version of windows 10 no action needed windows update will offer this version of windows 10 automatically once the issue has been resolved and in title we can see that this is saying that this pc cannot be upgraded to windows 10 and this is a kind of generic information and we have to find the root cause why this machine is not upgraded from x version to y version now apart from some generic reason we have some features or hardware name blocking os upgrade like here we can see that we have a hardware type called setup feature on demand detected and which is blocking the migration and by getting this information remotely we can easily identify the blocking factors and we can take the appropriate actions accordingly now let's see how we can deploy and find the blocking factors remotely 
सो फॉर एसिसम मैनेज डिवाइसेस वी कैन यूज स्क्रिप्ट फीचर टू फाइंड द विंडोज अपग्रेड ब्लॉकिंग फैक्टर्स एंड फॉर इन ट्यून मैनेज डिवाइस वी कैन यूज प्रोडक्टिव रेमिडिएशन डिस्टेक्शन स्क्रिप्ट आउटपुट टू फाइंड द विंडोज अपग्रेड ब्लॉकिंग फैक्टर्स सो इन दिस डेमो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन यूज इन ट्यून to find the blocking factor but if you are using sccm to upgrade the device you can use script feature available in sccm you have to create the script within sccm deploy it on the required devices and you will get the blocking factor immediately for all those machine which are online now let's see how we can implement this solution to find the upgrade blocking factor remotely using powershell so right now i'm on client machine and let me show you what i'm talking about first of all i'm going to show you the windows bt folder under c drive which is a hidden folder you have to go to the view and you have to enable the hidden item and now we can see that we have windows bt folder within this windows bt folder we have a source folder and then within that we have a panther folder and now here we have a compact data.xml file and by reading these files we can find the blocking factor reasons let me open these files one by one to show you how it look like so so let me open this first and now we can see that within that xml file we have two blocking factors and the very first one is the driver package which is blocking migration like here we can see that the block migration is equal to true and the inf file is oem1.inf which is causing this blocking migration and in the application name we can see that the, we have a trend micron office enterprise kb number this which is causing upgrade block and the blocking type is hard and it is also providing us action stating that we have to manually uninstall this application now let me open the other file now in this file we can easily see that the set of feature on demand detected and this is causing upgrade to fail and and we have to find what is this setup dismiss feature on demand block to fix the upgrade issue similarly in driver package we can see that all files are showing blocking migration false meaning that all drivers are compatible with the newer version if there is any blocking migration is equal to true then we have to open this oem.inf file and we have to find which driver is causing this upgrade fail now let's see how we can find the regions of blocking factors remotely using proactive remediation so now i am on my endpoint manager admin center portal and then we have to go to the reports for creating the proactive remediation detection script output so to do this we have to go to the endpoint analytics and within that we have to go to the proactive remediation and then we have to create a script so i'm going to show you how we can create a proactive remediation to find the blocking factors for application you can follow the same things for getting a proactive remediation for driver blocking factors generic blocking factors and other blocking factors and i'm also going to upload the all four scripts in github and i will provide the link in the description section to create a script we have to provide the name of the script and then we have to click on next here we have to provide the detection script file so let me pull out the detection script and then click on open we no need to provide the remediation scripts and then leave all these three option as it is and then click on next and then click on next in assignments i am going to deploy all the devices but in your case you have to create a group containing all the problematic devices and then deploy this script on those selected group and under schedule if you want you can change the frequency i am going to change it to hourly basis so that i am getting the output as soon as possible i am going to set it to every 4 hours and then apply and then click on next and then create now i already created and deployed all four scripts on the problematic device and i am going to show you how the output looks like let me show you first the application blocking migration or upgrade 
so to do this we have to go to the device status and within that make sure that you are going to select pre remediation detection output and apply here we can see that for test pc1 we are able to see that the application name trend micro on office enterprise is blocking the migration and the file age is one day four hours and 40 minutes older and on test pc2 no blocking factor found meaning that in that machine windows bt folder is present but there is no application causing os upgrade fail and in test pc6 we can see that this windows bt folder does not exist same thing we can check for the driver as well let me open the driver deployments now we can see that under monitoring under pre-remediation detection script output for test pc1 we can find that the blocking driver package name is oem1 and the xml file age is one day four hours and 40 minutes older and in test pc2 we can see that there is no blocking driver factor found meaning that the windows bt folder is present on the device but there is no driver causing upgrade to block and on test pc6 we can see that the windows pc folder does not exist let me open the feature name blocking upgrade and within the device status same thing we can find for test pc1 like feature name blocking upgrade we can we can see that the set of feature on demand detected which is a generic error and the file duration is one day four hours and 42 minutes and same thing we can find for the generic blocking factors like in this case for test pc1 we can see that the application title this pc cannot be upgraded to windows 10 because your pc is not supported yet on this version of windows 10 no action needed windows update will offer the version of windows 10 automatically once the issue has been resolved please check microsoft link for troubleshooting and here you will get a link also you can refer this link for more details and the compact xml file duration is one day is four hours and 57 minutes so that's all i want to show you how you can find the windows upgrade blocking factors remotely using proactive remediation detection scripts and same kind of output you will get when you are deploying these four scripts separately via sccm using sccm script feature i hope this video is useful to find the blocking factors in your environment if this is an valuable video for you please like share and subscribe my channel that's all for this video i will see you soon in my next video i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video